Greetings, OHE kindergartners. Uh, this week I'm going to share a silly math lesson with you that you can use to brighten your mood throughout the day. It's called... Ridiculous Math Celebrations! <laughs> do you ever have a day where the normal things you do just to take care of yourself just feel really uninteresting? You know that brushing your teeth is good for you. You know that doing it well every day is important for your dental health. But sometimes it can just seem so... So boring. Inject some life back into your tired teeth routine by knowing that when you're all done brushing, you'll get to celebrate your accomplishment with a ridiculous smash celebration! <laughs> Materials or things that you'll need for this activity are a piece of paper, scissors, something to write with. Markers or crayons if you want to add color, but you could do this with just a pencil. And optional is a small bag to hold your confetti in between celebrations. Once you've got your materials collected, find a place to do some cutting and writing. We're going to start by splitting the piece of paper in half. One half of the paper will be used to make ten pieces of two-sided confetti for your celebrations. The other half of the paper will be used to document your... Ridiculous mass celebration! Step one, fold the paper in half like a greeting card, and then cut down the crease to make two roughly equal halves. Step two, make the celebration confetti out of one of your new halves of paper. You're going to start by using a pencil to divide it into ten roughly equal boxes. They don't have to be perfect. Uh, after you're done, cut along the lines you drew, and you should now have ten confetti pieces. Step three, on one side of each piece of confetti, draw the same decoration. I recommend something simple like a one color shape or a smiley face, but if you want to get creative, you can. Step four, flip the confetti over to the blank sides now. Draw a different simple decoration than you drew on the other sides of your confetti. You should now have ten pieces of two-sided confetti. This is where you might want to use an optional small bag to keep your confetti together. Step 5. Let's make it a goal to have five... Ridiculous mass celebrations! <laughs> we'll use the other half of our original piece of paper to create a documentation sheet to keep track of our goal. Divide the paper into five sections with room to write a number sentence in each one. It should look something like this. Now you're ready to have your own... The next time you find yourself being sluggish when you've got a chore to do, bring your confetti and documentation sheet with you so that you can celebrate afterwards. Now I'll show you exactly how this sort of celebration looks with my dental hygiene example from earlier. Look, I'm finished brushing my teeth! Time to grab my confetti bag. I find a wide open space so I don't lose my confetti pieces and I throw them up in the air in elation. Yay me! Then I gather the confetti together and put the pieces in two groups based on which side of the confetti landed face up. Alright, here comes the math part of the celebration. Don't skip this part. Uh, first, let's make sure I have all ten pieces of my confetti. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, so I do have all, all of my ten pieces. I'm ready to start making my number sentence. I'm going to look at how many red circles I have to start off with. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be the first part of my number sentence. So in one of my spots on my documentation, I'm going to write the number seven. It'll look like that. And now, since I'm adding these together to make 10, I'm going to need a plus symbol. That means I'm putting numbers together. So now I have 7 plus. Now I need to know how many I'm adding together there. So I have 1, 2, 3 greens to add. So that's the next part of my number sentence. And equals. And we should know what this equals, because it's the same number that we started with. How many of these did we start with? If you're not sure, you can always count to check. 1, 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10. So I'll add equals 10 to my number sentence. So there's my first ridiculous math celebration, and there's my number sentence to show that I did it. See if you can fill out all five for something this week that you need to have a little fun with and celebrate afterwards. And there's my example of a... Ridiculous math celebration! There you have it. I hope this math activity brings some extra joy to the less interesting parts of your day.